tester. What I have is a gauge attached to the tester. <coughs> this gauge is not considered part of the tester unit, but would rather be an instrument that you are calibrating. So let's say someone hands you this gauge and says, I want to make sure this gauge is accurate. You could connect it to the dead weight tester as a way of seeing if it is accurate. The purpose of a dead weight tester is to generate a very precise known amount of pressure. And the way it works, we've got two pistons here, primary piston, and this over here is the secondary piston I can turn in and out. It works on oil pressure. You can see the oil leakage here. The system here is filled with oil. There's a little oil reservoir off to the side. And I've got a valve here so I can shut the oil pressure off from going to the gauge. And then, like I said, my piston is right here. The cast iron assembly is simply a big T fitting. There's no valves or anything special down here. It's just one big common port. So what I'm going to do first is take this secondary piston and back it out. And when I back it out, I'm leaving this valve open. That valve goes to the oil reservoir, so as I back the secondary piston out, it's pulling oil from the reservoir and filling up that piston chamber. So I back it out a few turns like this. Now I close this valve. I make sure this one's open. So now the gauge is able to see the pressure in here. And now I slowly crank in the secondary piston. As I do so, you should see the needle begin to rise. And then at some point, you should see the primary piston move up. You see that? So the primary piston is no longer sitting on the seat. It's now suspended by the pressure of the oil. As I turn in the secondary piston, the primary piston rises. As I turn the secondary piston out, the primary piston falls. Make sense? Now in doing this, notice what the gauge is doing. Hardly any change at all. Ideally, what I want to do as I change position is give this primary piston a little nudge so it spins. As I spin it like this, what I'm doing is I'm helping it break free of any friction. So it's only sensing the pressure of the oil. So right here, that piston actually has some weight. And there's a number 5 stamped into it. In this particular tester, that number 5 means 5 PSI. So it should be registering 5 PSI. But if you look at this gauge, each division on the gauge is worth 5 PSI. So here we have 50 PSI, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. So each minor division is 5 PSI. Right now I have ideally 5 PSI right there. So 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Looks like we're almost up to 10 PSI. But I really don't expect this gauge to be terribly accurate down towards the bottom. I expect to see better accuracy as I apply more pressure see more along the range of the gauge. 